Frustration over a lack of outrage. It has been more than 36 hours since two people were shot in the heart of Fells Point, and the city is hearing very little from leaders and police on the investigation. Alexa Ashwell is live in Fells Point with the very latest on this case for us. Alexa. Well, Mary, the big question that remains what led up to this double shooting, why a man and a woman were shot here down South Broadway Street outside the shops and restaurants, and who police may be looking for, and the majority of city leaders seemingly quiet. A man shot in the head, a woman shot in the arm, two suspects on the run. They all fled south on Broadway for Spain. And a community left frustrated and you can't walk out your door. And in fear. It's been a lot going on as far as like violence in this area. It's been more than 36 hours since two people were shot here on South Broadway Street. And Baltimore police not yet saying what they believe led up to the shooting or releasing any suspect information. A spokesperson confirming the man remains in critical condition and writing in part, once we have additional details that will not compromise the integrity of the investigation, they will be made public. This is one of your most attractive tourist areas. It's something people come to Baltimore to see, and it's really gotten dangerous, so it's, it's not good. Leaders, including the mayor, also quiet. Mayor Brandon Scott refusing to take questions during the opening of a grocery store early this morning, a spokesperson telling Fox 45 News to instead email questions. We need to be outraged. Longtime resident, former Fells Point business owner, and now city council candidate Claudia Tolls frustrated by the silence. These kinds of incidents are being normalized because of their silence, because of their lack of outrage, because of their lack of action. Fox 45 News questioning Councilman Zeke Cohen, whose district includes Fells Point. Cohen saying he's hopeful a change in leadership within the Baltimore City State's Attorney's Office, specifically Marilyn Mosby's decision to not prosecute certain lower level crimes will help address some of the ongoing issues in Fells Point. We've seen, unfortunately, the lack of clarity with the policies play out in Fells Point. As we know, Mr. Bates is going to be the next state's attorney. And I have asked uh, our law enforcement partners to proactively partner with him and make sure that there is clarity around where we are going with some of his policies. Now, the Fells Point Fun Festival is this weekend. You can see the gates still out here in uh, Broadway Square. We asked. Police say they will have added patrols, including on foot, as well as bicycle, as well as help from other law enforcement agencies, including SWAT. As for this case, no arrests have been made. Reporting live in Fells Point, Alexa Ashwell, Fox 45 News.